Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hook tutorial for beginners and this is part 8. In this video session guys, we will discuss about the action hook called add meta boxes. And also guys, this is the link actually by following this link, you can study all the documentation of action hook called add meta boxes. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching other playlists and the videos of this playlist to get the clear concept about WordPress hook tutorial. If guys, if you have watched about the playlist of online web tutor and the playlist is called WordPress Metabox tutorial. Inside this playlist guys, we had discussed about the whole concept of add metaboxes. Okay. So if you haven't watched that playlist, then I strongly suggest you to watch all those videos first. Okay, now inside this video session guys, we will discuss about the action who called add meta boxes and also we will see that how can we implement and add a meta box to our default post types. So basically guys by using add meta box action hook along with that we have to use a function called add meta box okay so by the help of that function guys we can actually meet our custom meta boxes to our post section either pg section or our custom post types okay so if suppose if we go to post section of our dashboard just click on post section and now if i click on add new so right now as we can see these are called the meta boxes like publish like post format categories tags featured image as well as we can see here some of the informations okay so meta box is nothing guys meta box is a set of instructions that actually we can provide to the admin to enter the details regarding this post okay suppose we are going to create a post okay some of the information that we are going to bind along with this post suppose author name email as well as we want to take some of the more information means extra information from the admin so to take the extra informations we actually make the custom meta boxes to this post section okay so how can we implement those boxes so this is possible in wordpress using guys called action who called add meta boxes okay inside this playlist guys called wordpress meta box where we have discussed into the deep dive okay you can watch all those videos from here so just go to editor so far guys we had discussed several things about in our wordpress hook tutorial okay so the last video session we had covered called admin notices so if i make comment of that so let's make a function called function owt make meta box okay so this is a callback function so let's define action who called add action and basically we have to pass called add meta boxes okay so add meta boxes okay this is the action hook and now in the second parameter we are going to pass this as a callback function next inside this callback function guys we have to use a function of wordpress called add meta box okay by using that function actually we can make some of the more informatic box to our post type okay so if you go to the documentation link this is for the add meta boxes okay so if i just scroll down this is the function guys that we have to use called add meta box okay so if suppose i copy that just make copy go to editor and now paste inside this callback function okay so this is the idea of this meta box okay meaning if you go to administrator panel this is suppose a meta box called publish section okay so each meta box has guys a unique id along with that okay so this is the idea of our custom meta box okay so if i suppose change owt meta box okay this is the id and second parameter we have to pass the title if you go to administrator panel this is called the title as publish it is okay so if i suppose change that so if we remove and let's say that owt custom box okay this is the title section third parameter guys this is the callback function okay so let's say that owt mbx function okay so if i suppose copy go here and let's define that this is the callback function for this meta box okay which basically provides the layout for this box in the next parameter guys we have called post this is a screen option means that at what screen we are going to make this meta box okay so basically this is meta box we are developing for the post section this is for the post section so that's why we have to pass post here if you want to suppose make we want to make this meta box for the page section means this is the page section so we have to change it something called page okay and if suppose we want to make for the custom post type then we have to pass the custom post type name here 
okay so we are going to make for the post section and this is for the context this parameter tells you the context context means that at what side we are going to make this meta box because this publish here is for the side section this format is also for the side section okay so basically this is normal here so if I suppose change normal to side basically we are going to make this meta box right here okay and also this is the context priority means we are going to make this meta box this meta box at the priority means at the first positions so we have to pass called here high okay basically we are going to make this meta box at the side position inside this post page and now at the high position okay so if I save this page reload this page and now as we can see that OWT custom meta box we have made a custom meta box inside this post section at the highest position okay this is called the add meta box so far we have made this custom meta box with no input box as we can see that there is no information inside this box okay so if suppose we want to pass or we want to supply some of the information inside this box so how can we pass that so just back to editor so this is the callback function guys if you want to make any input any information to this box we have to write all these informations inside right here okay so let's say echo let's say this is box for WP hooks tutorial okay so if suppose I save this file go to browser reload this page and now this is the message right here okay this is the message that we have written here so if suppose I want some input box so let's see that div inside this div let's say label let's say name okay we want to pass our input box let's say input type text okay so inside let's say name txt name let's say placeholder enter name okay so if I save this page go to browser reload this page so now we have our input box okay so we here as we can see that these are the informations we have passed inside this callback function so basically guys here are the key points to understand about add meta boxes action hook is that if you want to suppose want to show all the informations or the extra informations regarding without default post type or custom post type like post pages and our own custom post type then this is the meta box by using action hook called add meta boxes we can implement that okay and also there are some parameters that we have to pass to make our own meta box so this is the video session guys where we have studied about adding extra informatic box called add meta boxes okay so I think guys that I have made much more clear concept about add meta boxes okay and also guys I strongly suggest you to watch this playlist to get all the clear concept about meta boxes tutorial in WordPress okay so I think guys that I have made much more clear concept and if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day